We live in a world full of distractions and sometimes even finding the right tool becomes one of them. Today, I just wanted to find one laptop, a machine that could handle machine learning, 3D work, coding, and even solid gaming or video editing. Most people think they need separate laptops for AI ML, Blender, gaming, or video editing. But what if I told you there is one machine that can handle it all without breaking the bank? Well, I did some digging and I found 8 laptops each at different price points. And if you stick around till the end, I will show you my personal top big. The one laptop every student should seriously consider before buying anything else. Alright, so let's start with the most affordable one, the HP Victus. It's got a Ryzen 5 5600H which is a 6-core 12-thread chip and yeah, it's paired with an Radeon RX 6500M GPU with 4GB VRAM. You also get 8GB of DDR4 RAM and a 512GB of SSD, all for just under 47000 Now, I know it doesn't scream performance from the outside. It's pretty minimal, not flashy, but once you start using it, you will see where it shines. That 5600H handles VS Code multitasking, even some heavier stuff like a champ. And that GPU, that's where this thing's kind of wild for the price. You can open up Blender, turn on GPU rendering, and it works. Not super fast, but definitely usable. I've seen it run 1080p timelines in Premiere Pro without choking. Even AI work, you are not running LLMs or anything. But for small TensorFlow models or playing around with your first neural network, totally fine. But it's not perfect. You might want to upgrade the RAM later. But if you are just starting out and you want one machine that lets you try everything, coding, editing, AI, and even some 3D work without burning your wallet, this is honestly where you should start. Now if you got a little more budget, that brings us to this, the Asus of Gaming A15. It comes with the Ryzen 7 7435 hs a 8-core 16-thread processor built on AMD's Zen 3 Plus architecture. You also get RTX 2050 GPU, 16 GB of RAM, and a 512 GB of SSD, all that around 56,990. Now this is where you start feeling the difference. The extra core gives you serious multi-threaded performance, whether you are compiling code, training models, or editing heavier timelines. And the RTX 2050 might be Nvidia entry level but it unlocks features like CUDA, optics and DLSS which means faster render in Blender, GPU acceleration in video editing and even some light ray tracing in real time engines. But the big win here is the 16 GB of RAM, no memory bottlenecks while running Chrome, coding environment and AI notebook all at once. You can experiment with more complex datasets, training mid-sized models or just run smoother workflows without constant slowdowns. Plus, being a tough series machine, you get a rugged build, improved thermals, and that extra edge in long sessions. It's not just about the raw specs, it's about consistency, and this one delivers a cross creative coding and AI world. Next up, we move into serious performance territory. The Lenovo Lock comes with the Ryzen 5 7235HS, a 6 core 12 thread processor built on AMD's Zen 3 Plus architecture. You also get an Nvidia RTX 3050 with 6GB VRAM, massive 24GB of DDR5 RAM, and a 512GB of SSD, all for around 68,490. Now, this setup, it's built for people who don't want to hold back. The RTX 3050 isn't just the standard 4G version, this one's got 6GB of VRAM which gives you more breathing room in GPU heavy workloads like 3D rendering, video editing, and AI model training. Blender scenes load faster, renders smoother, and you can push the higher quality previews without stuttering. The Ryzen 5 here holds up incredible well for its class, strong single core speeds for coding and plenty of multi-core power for running local servers. But what really stands out here is the 24GB of RAM. This Lenovo lock doesn't just tick the boxes, it blasts past what you would expect at this price for AI, coding, editing or even some high quality gaming on the side. This is that moment when a laptop starts to feel like a proper desktop replacement. Now, if you're looking for that perfect balance between a next generation performance and everyday reliability, the HP Victus with the Intel's 13th generation chip might just be the one. This model comes with the Intel Core i5-13420H, a 10-core processor with 6 efficiency cores, 4 performance cores. You also get the NVIDIA RTX 4050 with 6GB of VRAM, 16GB of RAM and 512GB of SSD, all for around 76,490. This is where things start to get feature ready. The i5-13420H is built on the Intel's hybrid architecture, which means better task distribution and improved battery efficiency. So whether you are compiling code, training models, or editing footage, it handles everything with intelligent load balancing. But the real highlight is the RTX 4050, a huge leap in performance compared to the previous generation GPUs. It brings DLSS 3, better CUDA performance, and significantly faster rendering times in Blender and After Effects. You can comfortably handle 4K timelines, complex node structure in DaVinci Resolve, 
and GPU-based simulations without slowing down. And if you're someone who values silence, stability, and battery life above all, the MacBook Air M2 is worth a serious look. This comes with the Apple's M2 chip, 8-core processor, a 10-core GPU integrated in the SoC. It's paired with the 16GB of unified memory and 256GB of SSD storage, priced at around $77,990. Now sure, it doesn't have a dedicated GPU like the NVIDIA, but don't let that fool you. The M2 chip is surprisingly capable. Whether you are running Xcode, Python notebooks or editing 4K timelines in Final Cut Pro, this machine handles it all. And it does it without fans, meaning it stays completely silent, even under sustained workload. For AI and ML workflows, you can still run models using Apple's optimized tools like the Core ML or MPS. And there is growing support for PyTorch and TensorFlow builds on Apple Silicon. If you're someone who's just starting 3D work and want to explore your creativity, build personal projects, small scenes, motion graphics, them to handles mid-level Blender work quite well. And this becomes an ideal machine for students, developers, or creative folks who just want a clean, powerful, an ultra portable experience and now we have got something a little different and honestly i didn't expect to say this but i was genuinely surprised by what this next laptop can do the lenovo idpad slim 5 comes with the amd ryzen 7 ai 350 one of the AMD's co-pilot plus AI processors built on their latest Zen 5 architecture. You also get a huge 24GB of RAM and 1TB of SSD. It's priced around 86990 Now here's the wild part. In real world tests, this Ryzen 7 AI 350 actually outperformed the Intel Core i9-3900H in several multi-core workloads and even matched the performance of Apple's slightly more expensive M4 chip in certain tasks. And while it doesn't come with a dedicated GPU, the integrated GPU is surprisingly capable. In fact, it out performs close to a lower wattage GTX 1650, which is more than enough for Blender previews, 1080p editing and even some casual gaming. And now we are getting into serious territory, the kind of performance that feels desktop class in a portable body. The Lenovo Log comes with the Ryzen 7 Zen 4 35Hs and 8 core 16 thread processor built on Zen 3's architecture. It's paired with an NVIDIA RTX 4060 with 8GB of VRAM, backed by the 24GB of RAM and a 512GB of SSD, all for around 90990 This setup isn't just powerful, it's built for people who are pushing workloads daily. Whether you are working in Blender with complex geometry or real-time lightning, training deep learning models in PyTorch or editing 4K timelines with tons of layers in Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve, the RTX 4060 handles it all like a pro. CUDA, Tensor Core, DLSS, it's all unlocked and usable right out of the box. The Ryzen 7 gives you incredible multi-core throughout, which is perfect for compiling large projects, running simulations, juggling multiple ITs, containers, or even managing virtual machines. The 24 GB of RAM also removes the usual bottlenecks, but performance isn't just part of the story. What brings everything to life is the 100% sRGB display. Colors are accurate, crisp, and vibrant. Whether you are grading your footage or rendering final textures, what you see is what you actually get in the output. And finally, we have come to the most refined option in the list, the Apple MacBook Air with the new M4 chip. It comes with the Apple's latest M4 chip, a 10-core integrated GPU, 16GB of unified memory and a 256GB of SSD, priced around 91000 This isn't just about GPU horsepower like the others. The M4 is built on the Apple's cutting-edge 3 nanometer architecture, it delivers a balance of performance and battery life that's hard to match. You can code, edit, render, or even run AI tasks, and it stays completely silent the whole time. For developers, the experience is seamless. Whether you are running Xcode, VS Code, Docker, or managing your ML experiment locally, the unified memory architecture keeps things fast and fluid. KD apps like the Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro, or even Blender via Metal are surprisingly capable, and everything looks stunning on that Retina display. With tools like the Core ML, MLX, you can run models natively without draining your battery or overheating the chassis. And now, my personal topic. The one laptop I think every student should seriously consider. The Lenovo Log 2024 with the RTX 4060. Why this one? Because it brings desktop level GPU power into a budget that makes sense under 1 lakh. It also comes with 144Hz of Full HD display and 100% of sRGB if you want one machine that can do it all. This is it. Plug it in, launch your work and let it fly. So that's a wrap up 
on the best all-in-one laptops for AI coding, Blender, editing and gaming in 2025. If you want to check out these laptops or grab the one I personally recommend, I've dropped the Amazon's best buying links down below in the description box. Buying through those links supports the channel with no extra cost to you and helps me keep making these videos for you. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Stay awesome and I will see you in the next one.